I'm Angela Sharp, and welcome to The Daily Mix. I don't know if you've noticed, but it's starting to get a little bit chilly. If you're one of those people who likes fall, like everybody apparently at the studio, that's cool for you, but not cool for me because summer's my favorite and it's starting to be over. But you know what that means? It means it's almost hockey time and our 2019 Stanley Cup champions will be on the ice for the first time at the new Centene Community Ice Center this weekend. Fans are invited to come out and watch the Blues at training camp on both Saturday and Sunday. The team will also be unveiling their new commemorative jersey for practice on Saturday and they'll be hosting Try Hockey for Free sessions that day from 12.30 to 2.30 for kids 4 to 12. Ticket donations will benefit Blues for Kids Foundation. You can find out more at stlouisblues.com. I really think you guys should check that out, especially if you have a kid who might be interested in playing hockey. That Try It For Free is a pretty cool thing. You guys get to suit them up in all the gear and, and see if they like it before you get started because hockey is a rather expensive sport to get your child involved in. And later on in the show, I've got some great guests. I have Mike Durant, Steve Ewan, and Reed Lowe. That's right, Steve from The Urge, Reed from The Blues, and Mike are all doing this celebrity charity softball game to benefit Cardinal Glennon. They're gonna tell us how you can watch, who's all playing. You know, you're gonna wanna keep it right here. So let's get started on today's Daily Mix. The Taste of St. Louis returns to downtown St. Louis this weekend. This year's theme is Educate, Elevate, Celebrate, with a focus on health, fitness, and nutrition education. You'll find some of the region's best eateries and handcrafted beverages on Restaurant Row, as well as a variety of family fun activities, live music, and the fan favorite, Chef Battle Royale. The Taste of St. Louis takes over Soldiers Memorial Park Friday through Sunday, September 13th through the 15th. Everything you need to know about this free event is online at tastestl.com. And ABBA Fab has been playing to sold out crowds across the US and abroad for years. And now they're coming to St. Louis for the first time. This multimedia production is a stunning tribute to some of ABBA's greatest hits like Waterloo, Fernando, Honeydew, and Dancing Cream. Audiences of all ages can enjoy the Technicolor journey through the earliest ABBA hits, all the way for the ever popular Mamma Mia. ABBA Fab takes the stage at the Playhouse at Westport Plaza September 19th through the 22nd. You can find out ticket information at playhouse at westport.com. And we want to congratulate Emily Miller. She was the winner of our Facebook giveaway. She and a guest are gonna get to go opening night of ABBA Fab. The National Networking Correlation is calling all business owners and entrepreneurs to come out this Sunday and network to increase your net worth. Come out and meet other business professionals while enjoying music and drinks, giveaways and more. All black attire is required and the Networking 2 Increase Your Network event will take place Sunday the 15th from 4 to 6 at Paint It Like You Mean It in Florissant. You can find out ticket information at eventbrite.com. Now, Hollywood Casino St. Louis is the place to be before and after concerts at Hollywood Casino Amphitheater, and they're giving away a pair of lawn tickets to see Brantley Gilbert with guests Michael Ray and Lindsay L on Friday, September 20th, along with two wristbands for admission to the all-inclusive pre-party at 99 Hops House at Hollywood Casino. This includes food and drink, a complimentary shuttle service to and from the show, and there's free parking on-site at the casino. Now we're gonna be selecting one lucky STL TV viewer to win this awesome prize package. All you have to do is head on over to our Facebook page and look for the Brantley Gilbert, Gilbert giveaway post. In the comments, tag who you would like to bring with you if you were to win. Pretty much that easy. We'll select one lucky winner this Friday, September 13th. Lucky 13. Now professional football returns to St. Louis in just a few months 
And in the latest episode of Inside Sports, Melanie Steen caught up with some of the key XFL players. She asked Jonathan Hayes, the St. Louis head coach, how the team plans to win over sports fans. Take a look. XFL to hold the attention of, you know, sports fans. I mean, we're talking about hockey season. You know, the Blues are coming off the Stanley Cup sure. win. I mean, everybody's going to have eyes on them. What are you guys going to do to make this interesting and fun for the fans? Oh, I think that the one thing if you give people is competition. If you give them a good product that is, is ready to go out and compete every day and, and show, them that, uh, show people that you're not scared to back down to anything, uh, they'll come. The team will practice here at the Lou Fuse Training Facility in Earth City, with all of their home games being played in downtown St. Louis at the Dome at America Center. Now, in case you were wondering, the XFL officially kicks off their season on Saturday, February 8th, 2020. Be sure to check out the latest episode of Inside Sports for more on the XFL. Todd Blackstock's one-on-one -on -one with Rob Raines and a flashback on former Blues goalie Grant Fear. You can check out sceltv.net for showtimes or stream it anytime on our YouTube channel. And I really think his answer to that question should have just been, it's football. We don't need to encourage you to watch. It's football in St. Louis. I'm so excited. This is where I get all these wonderful guests to join me. And we've got a star set of group here. Steve, a lot of people know you as Steve Hot Dogs, but right. some people know you as Steve Ewing from The Urge. That's right. So is that kind of a depends on when you were born thing? It totally is. <laughs> Little kids, I'm the, I'm the hot dog guy, yes. <laughs> Bro, there you go. Yes. And then, we, of course, my old friend, Reed Lowe over there, big fan of the instigator rule, I know. <laughs> Former enforcer for the St. Louis Blues. Happy to have you guys here. But the reason you guys are all here is because of Mike here in the middle. Now, you started a celebrity softball game. This one is benefiting Carl Glennon. Glennon. Yes. Uh, why did you want to do this? You know, I watched the uh, MTV uh, All-Star game. Um, with the M MLB, and I'm like, that'd be cool to play in one of those games. I'm like, All right, I'm gonna try, and try it out. So last year was the, our first year, um, and I just kind of reached out to everyone just like through social media, and it was great. I got a lot of people responded back, you know. Um, so I got a good group last year, and we got a pretty good group this year. Well, I have to ask uh, Steve, when you got a, a, a DM from a random stranger saying playing mm -hmm. a celebrity softball game, were you a little on edge? No, because I mean. It'd be cool to play softball, actually, and especially play with like so many other guys from the Blues. I thought that would be awesome to do that, you know. So I wasn't surprised. I'm like, I'm down. Just give me the information. We're we're going. We're going. Yeah. And how about you, Reed? When I was excited to play. Uh, it didn't turn out so uh, good. I ended up uh, hurting my hamstring in my first at bat. So I sat with a bag of ice on my leg and uh, drank some adult beverages. Um, but it was a good time and a lot of good people came out and I'm uh, just excited to be back at it. Well, that, that is cool to have you guys both back again. But who is coming to play this year? This year we have a uh, couple uh, Cardinals. We have John Costello. Um, we have Mike Cradell, uh, both relievers from the Cardinals. Um, who else we got? I believe Cam Jansen's in this year. Oh, uh, hey. he, he played last year. He actually is, is our returning home run derby champion. <laughs> is that he, right? He, he beat out Jason Eisenhausen last year. I feel like he would have mentioned that a thousand times, <laughs> and I have yet to hear that. <laughs> a thousand times. <laughs> yeah. um, we got? We got uh, Zach Rieger, hopefully. I think he's from the yes, ambush. Yes, the ambush. Um, Rookie of the year. Rookie of the year, yeah. Yeah, so you've got you got some uh, got a lot of, a lot of uh, those stars. Radio personalities. And then yeah. radio media. I, yeah. I'm playing, guys. Angela's you guys can playing. come see me. Yes. I'm going to be playing. Um, so whoever gets me on your team, I apologize in advance <laughs> on that one. Um, it's been a while, so but I'm excited to do it. Dust off that glove. But why did you pick Cardinal Glennon to be the benefit? You know, last year we did St. Jude's, mm -hmm. and you know, I just want to do something, you know, children's is local. It's a great hospital. Um, my... Uh, ex-wife's nephew was in Cardinal Glennon and so he was there for a few months and so it was you know he's gonna be our Cardinal Glennon kid this year um, and so just uh, you know I spent a lot of time there with him so it was a good good place to start you know locally well I mean and that's very amicable for all of you as well talking about helping because it's your ex-wife nephew but that I won't <laughs> get into all those personal details right now I just had to point it out because I heard it and I was like wait a second so we have a you have a home run derby uh, yes, that was first one. Yes. Okay, and then the softball game. Yes, that too. And how are you picking teams for the said softball game? Since my team won that I pitched for last year, that, that the whole returning team's coming, uh, minus Brad Thompson because he's going to be with the Cardinals. Okay. Um, but my whole team's returning, and we're playing against a whole new set of celebrities. 
Actually, Steve will be filling in our team, taking the place of Brad. Oh, okay. So is, is Reed on your team then as he well? Is. Yeah. Oh, so neither well, of you are going to be screwed with me. So you're yeah, all right I'm not, then. I'm not, I'm not hustling down the first baseline this time. <laughs> not doing yeah, it. I was going to ask. Like, so, uh, Reed, I mean, baseball and hockey aren't that similar. Mm -hmm. It's a very different realm very different. here. Yes. So are, are you good at softball? No, no, I'm not. I uh, quit playing baseball when I was 12 because I was scared of the ball. And then somehow became an NHL enforcer at the end of the deal. I'm not really sure how that works out. Uh, uh, and I actually took batting practice with the Cardinals back in 2001 and asked the pitching coach if he could take it down a little bit. He's take like, sorry, buddy, I only got one gear. You know? <laughs> I'm just lobbing him in there right now. I'm not sure why you're so scared. So I'm just nice to, you know, we toss the ball nicely at you. And he used to kind of sit there and whack at it. So it's not going to hurt me. So it's not going to hurt you. Okay, well, that, that's good to know. Steve, I mean, music and baseball, were you a baseball player? Yeah, I did. I played, I played ball, like, all the way up to uh, freshman year of college. So, yeah, softball is going to be fun. So it's going to be, uh, you're real yeah. excited about this. Well, yeah. I'm excited to be joining in all the fun, too. So how does somebody go about getting a ticket to watch all the madness that is certain to ensue? Well, it'll be at uh, G GCS Ballpark, which is the home of the Gateway Grizzlies. So you can go to uh, gatewaygrizzlies.com. Uh, tickets are on sale. Okay, and then you just get a ticket and come hang out for the day and yeah. and take in all the fun. Do you have any, I know some people might want autographs from some of these guys. Do you have any autograph packages or anything like that? We are talking about on-field meet and greet, but we haven't locked that down yet. And I, it might just be the general public for a small time frame. So but, people need to keep an eye out yeah. to see what's yeah. going to happen. And this is happening in October. October 6th, Sunday. So we've given you a little less than a month to get everything situated, find your babysitter if that's what you want. <laughs> yep. Or you can bring the kids. Bring, 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 bring the kids. Bring the kids. They have a kid zone. They can play in the kids oh, zone. Oh, there's a kid yeah. zone. Yeah. See, yeah. it's going to be so much fun. A lot of celebrities. And I don't want to gear away from themselves all just yet, but I do have these two guys here. And I think I want to start with Reed because, I mean, we got to talk about you're, you're now with the Blues Alumni Association. Yeah. I used to interview you just as an, as an alumni, but now you're actually working for the organization that yeah. just won the cup. Yeah, uh, it's uh, first off, we're so lucky to have such a great alumni. There's guys, over 45 guys have retired in the city of St. Louis, and that's 100% just the fans and the people and the way we get treated here. This is the, without question, the best sports city in the world, in my opinion. I'm happy to be a part of the community, give back time and energy to, to everybody. And obviously I think, uh, just the Stanley Cup run and everything that went down and, and the way that the players kind of allowed the community to be a part of it in a way that I don't think's ever been done before was was pretty special time. And you know, I've been telling people along, you know, we've had lots of celebration, but we still have a banner to raise in the beginning of the season. I hope the boys come out and play well off the hop, because if they go one and nine in their first ten, it might not be so great. Interesting thing, but I mean that was very exciting for the community. I mean, I obviously worked for the Blues for a long time, so that was pretty cool for me. But as a player, what was that like to see the team you played for, you know, bring home that cup? You know, typically I don't get too excited for wins and losses and goals and whatever. But you start talking about being in the Stanley Cup final at the game. I was jumping up and down. I was a little kid again. And I think everybody kind of felt like that going through it. And then Game Seven, winning it in the fashion that they did, and just the journey being the worst team to being right. the best team. Just the whole story is like, I don't even think Hollywood could write something like that. It was just a special, special time. Yeah, Everybody it, remember. It definitely needs to be a big screen movie. Yeah. And Steve, I know you've been playing with the urge still all these years, which yeah. is awesome. You just at yeah. Point Fest. Just at Point Fest last weekend. And then what is coming up for you guys with the urge? Uh, the urge will be at the pageant November 29th with Fragile Porcelain Mice. Okay. Yeah, so big show down there. We're only doing the one concert, so um, get some tickets because they're going fast. I was going to say, well, that's Black Friday, right? Isn't yes. that? Okay, oh, yeah. awesome. So that that's a very eventful day for people oh, anyway. Yeah. So they're going to need to get their tickets. Do you play all the Urge old-time favorites? Oh, yeah, we play everything. So we usually will play a couple a couple hours, if not more than that. So we'll play everything old. they got some new stuff coming out. We put a record out a couple years ago, so we'll play stuff off of that. And uh, Fragile Porcelain Mice are some like really, really good friends of ours. Used to play with us back in the day, and they're joining the bill. So I think people are just gonna be crazy excited. Yeah, it's it's gonna be an awfully yeah. exciting time. So check that out. But we're out of time. So Mike, tell everybody where they can get their tickets, why they should come. Tell them all real quick. Well, Cardinal Glennon. That's that's pretty much the real reason. Uh, GCS Ballpark, Sunday, October sixth. Um, one o'clock, gates open at noon, uh, gatewaygrizzlies.com. Yeah, and definitely get your tickets. You can already tell the way that Steve and Reed interact with each other and kind of give each other trouble that this game is going to be a lot of fun to watch just from an out, even from like an outsider's perspective, it's going to be fun to watch these sports stars kind of 
Pick there, on each there other. There will be oh, yeah. comedy. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's fun, definitely, yeah. yeah, no doubt. So definitely go check that out. Thank you, Breen, Mike, and Steve for joining me. And don't forget, guys, you can check us out on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. You can drop us a line at the Daily Mix at stltv.net. We want to hear from you, and that's going to do it for The Mix, but keep it right here on STL TV and experience St. Louis.